And welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis and eczema and rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of biology, what is in the world of the body, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls on the bright side. Our number is 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. We'll take your calls in our second segment today. We've got a guest coming up at the bottom of the hour, Victoris Kulvinskas, one of the co-founders of the Hippocrates Health Institute, truly a legend in the world of raw foods, the world of health. He's a published author of 20 books or so, including Survival into the 20th, 21st Century, the New Health, New Age Health Directory, Holistic Health Guide for the Love of a Sprout. He's an expert on enzymes and sprout chemistry. We're going to talk about enzymes. I've been really fascinated about using enzymes for nutrition, for health. I've actually known about it since pharmacy school, but over the last couple of years, it's become very evident that enzyme deficiency is a serious, serious problem, basically because of how we eat. You know, we talk about micronutrients on this program all the time, vitamins and minerals, which act as cofactors and coenzymes, but enzyme deficiency itself, not coenzyme deficiency, as significant as it is, but enzyme deficiency itself may be behind, or at least partially behind, what we call our epidemic health crisis here in the United States and around the world. We'll talk to Victoria Skilvinskis about raw foods and about enzyme therapy. We'll also talk a little bit about gluten. Victoria's worked with Ann Wigmore, who is the raw, who is the uh, famous for, for popularizing sprouts as a healing food. And we'll talk to Victoria at the bottom of the hour and take your phone calls in our second segment, 844-236-6010. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products, please head over to brightsideben.com, brightsideben.com, or pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can order products right off the website, and you can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites, right off the websites as well. Pharmacistben.com, brightsideben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 and order products directly from the phone team, or you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team at 866-735-2470. And if you want to purchase any of my Truth Treatment products, including our Retinol 5% Gel, head over to truthtreatments.com. That's truthtreatments.com. Okay, we're talking hyperpigmentation, dark spots, and the stress response, which, although the stress response and hyperpigmentation are protective and, and a good thing in the short term, in the long term, activation of the stress response in a chronic way is a leading cause of health misery and a leading cause of skin issues. Hyperpigmentation, oiliness, inflammation, eczema, psoriasis, zits, these are all manifestations, at least partially, of a hyperactive stress response. That means if you are dealing with any skin issue, that means if you're dealing with any health issue, you have to learn how to calm down the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands in association with the thyroid, what I call the adrenal thyroid axis, 
the connection between the adrenals and the thyroids. This is the jumping off point to all chronic degenerative disease. Adrenal issues and thyroid issues lead to everything else. That means if you're trying to take care of your autoimmune problem or if you're trying to take care of your heart problem or you're trying to take care of your inflammatory problem or your skin problem without addressing your adrenal glands and your thyroid, you're wasting your time. You're spending a lot of money for no good reason. That's because without addressing the adrenals and the thyroid or the adrenal thyroid complex, you cannot address degenerative disease, period. There's lots of ways to deal with adrenal stress. Relaxing is one of the best ways. By the way, menopause and hot flashes are a classic example of a hyped up adrenal system. And later on, perhaps tomorrow or the next day actually, we're gonna talk about how menopausal symptoms are related to adrenal issues and how if you're dealing with menopausal symptoms, if you're dealing with hot flashes and anxiety and, and sweats and insomnia and hypertension and uh, blood clotting, all of the issues that are associated with, with menopause, not only, not only are you dealing with adrenal issues, but even worse, because the adrenal glands are supposed to be making your youth and fertility and growth and repair hormones, if they're off making stress hormone, cortisol specifically, they're not going to be able to make all the good stuff. The adrenal glands... Are, where, are the glands that are supposed to pick up the slack when your ovarian hormones, for a menopausal woman, when your ovarian hormones start to die off, start to, when the ovaries stop producing the ovarian hormones. In other words, as we reach menopause, as a woman reaches menopause, the ovaries stop making estrogen, the ovaries stop making progesterone, the ovaries stop making testosterone. These are your youth and fertility and growth and repair hormones, and the adrenal glands are supposed to pick up the slack unless... Your body is being burdened by a lack of oxygen, by too much sugar, and by digestive issues, in which case the adrenal glands won't be making the good stuff, and they'll be making cortisol in order to help us deal with stress. We'll talk about how menopause and the stress response and the adrenal glands are all connected here probably tomorrow or the next day. Meantime, if you're dealing with a skin issue like hyperpigmentation, or really any issue, chronic degenerative disease or hypertension, you want to focus on the adrenal glands, first and foremost, practice your slow, deep breathing. From the journal uh, Menopause, so this is from uh, 2012, quote, regular daily practice of calm or paced breathing may ease hot flashes, according to a new study, according to a study published online in Menopause, the journal of the North American Menopause Society. Now, where have you heard that before, folks? I don't think one episode of The Bright Side has gone by without us talking about the importance of slow, deep breathing. Slow. Not a lot of breaths. I got a letter yesterday from a guy in Santa Cruz, perhaps he's listening, who says, well, Ben, I heard that you're not supposed to breathe a lot if you're, uh, if you're interested in anti-aging, according, uh, according to Dr. Mercola, who this guy quoted. And yes, it's true. You don't want to breathe a lot. You want to breathe deeply. There's a difference between frequency of breath and depth of breath. It's not the frequency. You don't want to breathe a lot. That's true. You want to breathe deeply. It's about torque. It's like when you're riding your bicycle. You don't want to, you don't want to be spinning your wheels really fast if you want to go up a hill. You want to be spinning your wheels very slowly with a lot of torque. It's the same idea with the breath. You don't want to be breathing fast. You want to be breathing slow and deep. And that's how you relax the body and you tell the body that all is well. In addition to deep breathing, which is probably the quickest way to calm down an adrenal stress response. Ladies, if you're dealing with hot flashes or insomnia or menopausal symptoms, take note. But there's lots of other ways. Electrolyte drinks. This is where the Beyond Tangy Tangerine really shines. It's liquid electrolytes. This is why people get such quick results from the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. I'm telling you guys, I'm not saying this because I want to sell you Beyond Tangy Tangerine. I'm telling you this as a healthcare professional whose personal, professional, and spiritual life is dedicated to helping you. You need to start the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, especially if you're on any kind, if you're dealing with any kind of chronic degenerative disease issue, adrenal issue, hot flash issue, or skin issue as well. These are, it's an electrolyte drink that features electrical nutrients, and when you put it in water, you activate that electrical energy. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. We 
are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. Got Victoris Kalvinskis coming up at the bottom of the hour, the co-founder of the Hippocrates Health Institute, nutritionist, extraordinaire, and enzyme expert. He's written multiple books, including Don't Die with Enzymes, For the Love of a Sprout, Love Your Body, Live Food Recipes, worked with Dick Gregory. Uh, he was Dick Gregory's personal health consultant. Dick Gregory was a comedian who was on the forefront of vegetarianism and fasting and the importance of using nutrition for good health. We'll talk to Victoria about enzymes, specifically at the bottom of the hour. We'll get your calls here in just a moment. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products, please head over to, true, uh, to uh, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or also criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase the longevity products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. For a one-time $25 fee, you can start yourself a longevity business, make some money selling longevity products, and also get your products at the wholesale price. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Truth Treatment products, you can head over to truthtreatments.com. And also, if you're in the Denver area, I'm going to be doing a talk for uh, Leslie Farrar at the Highlands Ranch Library this Friday. Highlands Ranch Library, 9292 Ridgeline Boulevard in Highlands Ranch, Colorado. If you want to Google it, or if you want to map quest it, it's 80129 is the zip code. Please RSVP to benfuchs.everbright.com, benfuchs.everbright.com to make sure you have a seat, or you can call Leslie at 720-235-9223, 720-235-9223. That's at 1 p.m. this Friday at the Highlands Ranch Library. Friday would be, what, the 16th, 17th, Friday the 18th at the Highlands Ranch Library in Highlands Ranch, Colorado. Hope to see you there. Okay, we'll continue talking about adrenal health and hyperpigmentation, get you some strategies for dealing with the adrenal glands in addition to the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and deep breathing techniques. There's, there's quite a few nutritional strategies that you can use for adrenal health. We'll get to those tomorrow as we continue talking skin health, skin care, and adrenal stress on the bright side. Time to hit our phones, 844-236-6010. Chloe in Texas, welcome to the bright side. What's going on? Hello, Ben. Hello, please, what's up? Um, can you please talk about heart attacks in women? I'm sorry, say that one more time about heart attacks, did you say? In women. Ah, heart attacks in women. Well, they're the same as heart attacks in men. Women and men there's have no the same. <laughs> no different. different. No different, no different. Women do have more of the uh, inflammatory hormone estrogen, and if estrogen is not processed correctly, this is really important. We hear a lot about estrogen and estrogen toxicity, but it's not so much that estrogen is a problem as much as the breakdown products of estrogen. If estrogen is not processed correctly, it can become very problematic. Estrogen is mega potent, way more potent than other steroid hormones. It's active in tiny, tiny, tiny amounts. It has to be eliminated from the body through bile and through the digestive system and via the activity of probiotics. If there's anything wrong with the bile system, and that means your gallbladder's been removed, or you have liver health issues, or perhaps issues with your intestine. If you have any problems with what's called dysbiosis, messed up gut bacteria, if you have any digestive problems at all, the chances of building up toxic estrogen forms becomes, becomes more and more likely. And this is where heart disease, this is one of the reasons why women have issues with heart disease. Now, insulin is involved, and insulin is a problem for men and for women. Sugar is involved. Sugar is a problem for males and for females as well. So between estrogen and sugar and insulin, and toxicity in the blood through the digestive system, these are the causes of heart disease, which is the leading cause of death in this country and around the world. So for women and for men, how you protect yourself from heart disease means number one, controlling your intake of sugar. I know I beat up on sugar and nutritionists beat up on sugar daily, but you can't get away from it sucrose and glucose and fructose in excess amounts and when not cleared or processed correctly is a major cause of bodily distress including heart disease so the number one strategy for dealing with heart disease is not a drug it's not your cardiologist it's not a doctor it's not the medical model and the medical model should be ashamed of itself for having the nerve to treat a toxic heart with toxic drugs or for treating a toxic heart with toxic, deadly medical procedures, with invasive 